What's up everybody, my name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. And in today's video, we're gonna try something I haven't really tried in the past. And why are we gonna be trying something new on the channel today? Well, quite frankly, in this video over here, I used this saw. And quite frankly, I gotta tell you, the saw blade was dull as heck. I mean, literally was frustrating. Okay, but we pressed forward. And immediately after we were done making that video, I took a good hard look at the saw blade. It really doesn't look that worn. And I thought to myself, this thing needs to be replaced. And then I said to myself, wait a minute, this is a carbide tooth saw blade. Does it really need to be replaced or is there an alternative? Well, we're gonna find out today. <laughs> So here's the deal, everybody. People tell me all the time, you gotta clean your saw blade. You gotta clean your saw blade. You gotta clean your saw blade. And in, in this world of, uh, you know, everything being disposable, I literally am, a, am very guilty of this. I've never really even attempted to clean my saw blades thinking that I could get any more life out of them. I just replaced them. Seems cheap enough. But the deal is, is that if I could clean it, maybe I could save the money, makes more sense. And on top of it, you know, it doesn't have to get recycled or worse, end up in a landfill, right? Let's just say you didn't even recycle. We actually do scrap here, metals and such, but some people, instead of trying to clean their saw blade, they might just throw this away in the trash and then it ends up in a landfill and then it's really not worth anything, right? It's never gonna break down. I decided that all of the teeth, if you could look at these, all of these carbide teeth are in good shape. There's none chipped off, there's none broken that I can see. Why is this thing so dull? Well, then I took a closer look. The carbides, they're really gunked, like they look gunked up, like they had that film on them. And then if you look, even the face of the carbide has buildup on it, and it's gonna make the, the saw blade not cut very well. I mean, that's how new the blade is. It's still got the tag on the back. If this had a lot of miles on it, it would have worn off already, you would think. So we took the battery out of the saw. Now, we're gonna try to use they, they, I think they sell specific carbide style cleaners. I don't know if you necessarily need that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Simple Green. Simple Green is a, it's a biodegradable, non-toxic product. And quite frankly, I like that. It goes with the whole theme of green, right? We don't wanna put this in a landfill. We don't wanna recycle it. We're gonna, we're gonna try to extend the life, life of it. So we're gonna use the biodegradable Simple Green. I got this plastic lid, pretty cool, okay? Another way to repurpose something. So it's the lid off of a spackle bucket. That's what we're gonna use here. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna cover. Then we're gonna pour in some water just to cover the blade. Boom, done. I think we're gonna let this sit a while and then uh, we'll go to the next step. Uh, here's the deal. Because of my curiosity, I had to come out here in between emails and calls and play with the carbides real quick. I didn't think there was any way possible that the simple green and water solution would have worked that quickly. It's only been a matter of minutes. Literally, matter of minutes. And if you can come in here, you can see this one carbide. That's why I was like, oh, we gotta get the camera rolling. This one carbide, is already clean. Now, all you gotta do, look, boom, see how clean that's coming? I'm just using my finger. Look at that. I'm, I'm like super impressed that it literally worked that fast. You see that? Mm -hmm. Now, to speed the process up, you might get yourself a brass brush. Okay. Clean up those carbides. 
And you can see the saw blade itself, once we get the residue off, the carbides, look, there's plenty, look, plenty. There's no, there's no breaking at all, no fracturing of the carbide. I am just super shocked that it worked as quick as it did. And the good part is, is that it's biodegradable. It's non-toxic. I'm thinking I know what happened to this saw blade. I believe this blade was used to cut a countertop. And what happens is the contact adhesive used for the laminate gums up the carbides. So that's what I'm thinking happened here. But you're gonna wanna lightly use either, I'm using a brass brush. You could use a toothbrush. Looking pretty good. Once you're done that, you probably wanna use some clean water to rinse off that simple green solution. You're gonna to wanna to dry your saw blade. Be careful. Maybe you move in the direction of the carbides. You don't wanna, you don't wanna nick your hand. Once you're done, it's suggested that you use a rust inhibitor on your saw blade. This saw blade's already painted. I said, literally, the poor performance from this blade was a shock, being that it was so new, but the carbides were just gunked up. So we're gonna test this in a second, but I don't think, I think it would be just fine if I didn't coat it with a rust inhibitor. But we do have this Blaster Advanced Dry Lube with Teflon. Now, if you're wondering how to know which rust inhibitor to use, look for the one with the saw blade on it. That's what I did. You know, it's like a pictogram. It's like we're back in, in the, uh, the hieroglyphic days. Saw blade good. You can see it dries right away. Leaves that white coating of the Teflon Don. Years ago, back on the job site, I used to coat all my saw blades with a Teflon, with a Teflon rust inhibitor. That's what they used to call me, the Teflon Don. Yo, literally as good as new. Literally as good as new. I can't believe how well that worked. And if you like being shocked by results that make old things or used things like new, then smash the like button. Also, if this is your first time here, you're gonna wanna get subscribed. We do stuff like this all the time. It's pretty amazing. With that, I want to say, I appreciate every single one of you being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. See you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications throw. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here here, and maybe over here. See you later.